Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi. Welcome. Hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Nice. Good to hear that. Glad to hear that. Okay. Four students. No, three students only. Where is everybody? It's Monday. <laughs> okay, welcome. We already have Miss Media, Miss Anna, Miss Joanna, Miss Allison, Miss Tatiana. Good evening. Welcome to the class. We have our class number seven today. Okay. Did you practice the vocabulary? Yes. Did you practice the vocabulary that we are studying? Cinema, movie theater, stadium, school, park, zoo. All right. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. How are you? How was your weekend? Uh, it was very relaxing. Nice. I stay at home and just resting. Just resting. And what do you usually, I mean, what do you do? Uh, well, I did my homework, mm -hmm. uh, the platform, mm -hmm. and I saw a lot of episodes of, of a TV series that I'm watching. That you love. Yeah. Okay. And what do you do for living? What do you work on? Sorry, can you repeat it? What's your job? What do you do for a living? Ah, I'm an auditor in customs administration. Nice. So on the weekend, you're usually free. Yes, yes. I yes. work just from Monday, Monday to, to Friday. Friday. That's great. So how do you like your job? Well, I like it a lot. Uh, well, see, since I was very young, I wanted to, to work uh, in that job. As, in that job. Nice. How long have you been there? Just six years. For six years? Yes. Wow, that's interesting. Are you in charge of any specific area? No. I'm just a technician one. Mm -hmm. It's a technician charge. Nice. Sounds interesting. It is, teacher. It is. <laughs> and you're here in San Salvador? Yes, yes. Oh, nice. I live yes. here in downtown near nice. uh, San Jacinto. Nice. So, but the job is in Ilopango, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because that's a custom office that we have, right? Yes, yes. And we in have, San Bartolo. In San Bartolo. And we have it at the airport and on the ports, I, I believe. Yeah. Yes, there are a lot of uh, offices mm -hmm. uh, all around the, the country. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are. Uh, on the borders, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, in each border. border. Yes. In the uh, airport. Airport. Uh, Acajutla. In we Acajutla have another. port. Uh -huh, because we have a port for imports and exports, right? We have internal and, and external and external offices. Nice. That's so interesting, actually. Yeah, yes, I, I always wanted to know about this, but you know, I'm always being in teaching, so <laughs> I didn't have the <laughs> chance to ask anybody. Well, nice. Thank yeah. you for sharing. That sounds very interesting. All Thank right. You, 
Welcome everybody. Say good evening, at least on the chat. Be nice. <laughs> okay, say good evening, everybody. How are you? How do you do? What did you do on the weekend? Uh -huh. I'm glad to see you. I hope you have rested. Say something on the chat, at least. Mm -hmm. Let's see who sends the first message on the chat. I'm waiting. I'm patiently waiting. They are shy to I know, <laughs> but sometimes they are not. <laughs> sometimes they are, sometimes they are not. Uh-huh. The messages on the chat, please. Say good evening. Say hello. Say, I'm glad to see you again. I'm happy that you're fine. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad to see you. Say something. Vamos a ver quién escribe un mensaje nice en el chat. Yo sé que allí lo están pensando. I know you're thinking about it. You're thinking about a nice message. You're saying, yes, I want to say hello, everybody. I want to say, how are you? I want to say, I wish you a nice Monday. I wish you have had a nice day. All right, fine. Thank you, teacher. Somebody answered at least. That's great. Okay. Aquí voy a dejar el chat, el box del chat para leer, okay? I'm happy to have classes with you again. Yes, nice. Thank you. Me too. I'm happy we have classes again. Yes, okay. Uh-huh. Who else? Who else? Don't be shy. Say something. Okay. In the meantime, vamos a compartir la pantalla para ver la clase de este día. This is what we're going to study. Déjenme ver solo que este, este PowerPoint está. Not from the beginning. Let me see. It's right here. Okay, here we go. Uh-huh. I went with my children to, to play soccer. Okay, nice. Excellent, Miss Norma. All right, so this is our class number seven. I'm reading your messages right here. I have the chat right here, okay? So, our objectives for today class to create sentences using propositions of place to locate buildings on a map hopefully we can do that okay of course we have a, an activity to restart to get engaged remember last class we were describing these places what's a cinema uh -huh. a cinema is a place where you can you can watch movies. You can see a movie, right? It's a place Don't where you me. can hang out with friends, okay? It's a place where you can eat a lot of popcorn, okay? Uh-huh, a sports center. It's a place where you can... Anybody? Basketball. Play basketball. Play any sport, right? You can play get any. Play soccer. Uh -huh. You can do any sport you want. You can do exercise, right? Similar, we have uh, in this, right? That could be a sports center. Some other places probably in your community locally, right? Mm, they're usually these very famous places called in Hubes. So now you have a lot of activities in those places too. A swimming pool is a place where you can Swim. Go swimming, yes. Take swimming lessons, teach swimming lessons, right? Have competitions, swimming competitions as well. A cafe. Uh huh. A place where you can uh, share experience with some friends. Nice. <laughs> you can hang out. You can hang out with a friend, you can have a cup of coffee, you can have a piece of cake, a dessert, right? You can, you can have a conversation, 
you can share experiences, you can meet with a friend, you can talk about business if you want to. Right, people usually go to a cafe not necessarily to drink coffee. That is the extra, right? <laughs> But they usually go to do something else. All right, a post office. We have explained about a post office be before. Yes, what is a post office? It's a place where you can... Where you can send letters, maybe? You can send or receive letters, right? Or mail, mail boxes, packages, right? In a museum, what's a museum? Uh -huh. A place where you can see some uh, skulls. A skulls, a skeletons, right? It's a place where you can learn or study about history, about art, right? Where you can see an art gallery, probably. Museums are usually really interesting places, okay? Someone else, you can learn exactly, okay? Awesome. All right, this is what we studied last class. Let me just have something right here because. I look for something. Let me just share this. Hmm. I might do it this way. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. That's the only thing you have to choose, okay? That's the only thing you have to tell me. Let me see. I bet I can do it. I can do it. Sometimes I get kind of complicated with this, but let's see if I can do this. Hmm. All right. Here we go. Let's move this. All right. You're going to hear probably a big sound. Okay. Uh huh. Is there a bookstore? Can you see the map? Yes, yes, teacher. I'm looking for Beaver. the bookstore. <laughs> Is there a bookstore? Uh, no, I don't think so. I can see the bookstore. You can see the bookstore. So yes, there is no other reason. No, there is no, no other reason. reason. Exactly. <laughs> What else can you see? You can see a lot of things. Is there an airport? Uh-huh. It's still looking for the airport. No, there is. No, there is. No, there is. Uh-huh. There are many other places. Restaurant, police station, restaurant, banks, right? Fire station, but is there an airport? No, there isn't. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Is there an Italian restaurant? Look for the Italian restaurant. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Where is it? Where It's on King's it? Road. It's in King's yeah. Road. Next to the cafe. Next to the cafe, across from or opposite? Bus station. The bus station. The bus station. station. That's right. Good. You see, now you can identify the places. Is there a church? No. no, no, there isn't. There is no, no there is. All right, you're right. Okay. Is there a bank? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Where is it? It's on Third Street. It's on Third Street. Uh, ne Next to? Next, Next to a fire station. Next to a fire station to be on the corner of first and third. Yeah, next to a fire station, across from the police station. The... Yeah, next to the restaurant probably, right? Or a bakery, I don't, I don't really know what this is, probably a bakery. Yes. Okay. 
Is there a Mexican restaurant? No. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Okay. Nice. Is there a cinema? Yes, there yes, is. There is. <laughs> yes, there is. Yes, there is. Next there is. to the hotel. It's next to the hotel on the corner of 3rd and 2nd Street, right? Okay, nice. All right. Is there a police station? Yes, yes there, there is. is. Yes, there, there is. is. It's on? On, on, on the corner of 3rd and 3rd Street. Street. Okay, on the corner of 3rd and 1st Street. Yes, across from the bank, right? Next, the supermarket, probably. Mm -hmm. Is there a barber shop? Yes. Yes, there is. Where is it? It's on Pine Street. Next to the hospital. Pine Street, next to the hospital. Pine Street, next to the hospital. Across from the sports center, across from the drug store. Right. Mm -hmm. Is there a zoo? I'm looking for the zoo. No. No. No, there is no. No, there is no. No, there is no. There is no. There is no. Oh no, was it? <laughs> we got lost the last one. Okay, don't worry. Okay, so that was just to practice a little bit of the vocabulary. Okay, we are starting. And of course, we have a conversation now. Of course. What can you see on the picture? Uh -huh. Like a family? Yeah, like a family. You can see a restaurant in the background, definitely. You can see a lady here, a man right here, a man who's holding a child's hand. Mm, what can you see from the child's face? What is his expression? He needs he to go to the... <laughs> <laughs> to he needs to go restroom. to the restroom, all right? So the man asked the woman, excuse me, can't you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Just like thinking, right? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, so probably there is not a public restroom itself there, right? But there's a public restroom or there's a restroom in... In what store? in the department, in the department store. store. Yeah, usually when you're walking on the street, on a city, and you need a restroom, what do you do? You go to a restaurant, <laughs> you go to a gas station, or you go to a shopping mall, right? Because just walking on the street, you will never find a restroom probably. It's very difficult to find just the restroom, just a public restroom, right? So that's why she recommends him to go to the department store, okay? So I'm gonna ask two volunteers, let me see. Um, not that volunteers, but <laughs> let's do it, <laughs> okay? Miss Norma, Miss Nidia, are you ready? Yes? Excuse me, yes. can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? A public restaurant? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. 
Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there is restroom in the in the department the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Oh, the the corner of May and Fields. Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Good, good job. Okay, any question about the vocabulary or the pronunciation? Yes. No question. Yes. Um, no. Tell me, tell me. You can miss it. <laughs> my son needs need. a restroom. My son needs a restroom. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the child needs a restroom. All right. Let's practice the conversation. I'm going to make the groups for you to practice the conversation. Hopefully we can have pairs. But sometimes some people are not ready or are not able to practice in pairs. So I'm going to make seven groups. Probably you're going to be in trio. So you rotate, you take turns, right? Let's see. Open all the rooms. I send the, the photo of the conversation to your chat, okay? On WhatsApp, don't worry. Okay? Let's see. Eh, yo acabo de practicar con la, con la primera, si gusta, lo hago nuevamente, siempre siendo el hombre. Bye, ok. Y, ah, no, mejor usted el hombre y yo la mujer. Perfecto. <ríe> eh, comienzo. Excuse sí. me, can you help me? Is there a public rest, restroom around here? A public restroom. ¿Mm? I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where is the main, where, where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Oh, the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across. You can miss it. This meeting is being recorded. Thanks a lot. Okay. Ahora Rebe, si quiere. Vaya. Se sigue todo. Ok, ok. No comience a preguntar. Pregunte. Entonces, uh, excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around there?
Avenue. On the corner of May in first. Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thank a lot. Vaya. Ahora. Pregunto yo otra vez. ¿Y quién contesta? Sí, yo ya respondí el test. Ya, el meter. El meter, ajá. Sí, yo también, pero hay una parte de, de, de la plataforma que yo no, no sé por qué, pero no, no lo logro. No sé, no me puedo llenar y lo pongo de mucha manera y no me da. ¿Cuál es? Mm, ya, ya. Es de... My son is a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Uh, no le escuché, William. Ya me hizo la pregunta, William. Sí. Uh, no le escuché. Bueno, le contesto. Ajá, es que vamos a decir, we're on Main Street. Ok. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Main and First? Uy, ya me perdí. Teacher. Este. Hello. Tenemos aquí este, una pregunta. Estamos yes. hablando sobre lo de las direcciones de las calles. Uh -huh. Entonces, oh, ahí donde dice in the corner, ¿qué significa? En la esquina. Por eso da como uh -huh. referencia a dos calles. On the corner of May and First. Uh -huh. Y of May. May es como es? decir la calle principal, Main Street. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y First Avenue. Ajá, y una consulta, eh, dice, yo veo que acá en inglés son bien como exagerados para las expresiones, que hablan de que, oh, que no sé qué. Nosotros no, bueno, yo por lo menos no, no, no soy así, ¿verdad? Y no, bueno, más allá, si Dios lo permite que nosotros podamos este, eh, tener conversaciones en inglés y poderlo este, hablar. Eh, no es necesario que seamos así tan expresivos para, para las conversaciones. No, o sea, va a depender, no, no. va a depender. Obviamente de parte, depende también del grado de confianza, del contexto en el que se esté comunicando. Por ejemplo, en este caso es una conversación, una conversación prácticamente entre dos extraños, ¿verdad? Meramente de ayuda. O sea, para indicarle dónde está el bathroom, el restroom que necesitaba el, el señor para su hijo. Uh -huh. En caso de que usted ya entre como en confianza, obviamente sí. Tienden a ser así un poquito exaggerated, pero también es, es que depende mucho de las personas. De la, o de la personalidad de cada quien, más bien dicho. Porque... Los libros, obviamente, o los textbooks, lo, la, el material lo van a hacer así como un poco exaggerated para que la gente siente el feeling y tiende, tiende a transmitir el feeling, ¿verdad? De lo que se está hablando, pero no necesariamente. Yo sí le confieso que en lo personal sí aprendí a ser como, como más expresiva. Porque igual, yo era como muy seria y todo, entonces, y me costaba un poco transmitir lo que quería decir. Y a, eso me fue ayudando un poco más. Ahora sí creo que I exaggerate a lot. Pero no es obligación. O sea, uno puede hacer una conversación normal, o sea, 
Sí, sí, un poco más, más, o sea, los, las entonaciones son más exageradas que el español, eso sí se lo sabré decir. Ajá. Sí, porque el español es como más plano, más flat, no hay tantos ups and downs de emociones, de tonos y todo eso. El inglés generalmente sí es así. Tienen varias expresiones, sobre todo los acentos en las preguntas se tienen que marcar muchísimo. Y, y este y eso no es así en inglés para por ejemplo con el, 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 el acento de nosotros según los departamentos de acá del país no es así el inglés que depende del estado así tiene su acento de hecho es muchísimo más variado <ríe> muchísimo más, más variado porque solo en Estados Unidos hay 50 estados y no solo en Estados Unidos se habla inglés, entonces también va a depender mucho de dónde sea la persona que se esté comunicando con usted en inglés. Porque puede ser que sea un asiático, un de Medio Oriente, un europeo, y todos van a tener como un acento diferente. Pero eso es Global English. Obviamente el acento de nosotros tiende a perderse porque tenemos bastante influencia North American. Entonces, tiende como a parecerse más a North American, pero no a un estado en específico, porque no, no somos de un estado en específico. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, pero eso lo, eso lo vamos a ir viviendo después, don't worry. Ahorita usted exagere. <risa> Drama. <risa> Dramatize. <risa> ok. O sea, por diversión, just for fun. <risa> ok, okay. <risa> don't worry. Creo que ya le vamos a hacer a los breakout rooms. Finish. Finish, teacher. Finish. Okay, no problems. No, teacher. No, no teacher. Nice, nice. Nice, good job. Okay, vamos a escuchar. Let's see. Alguien que no hayamos escuchado casi nunca. Kenia. And Lorena. Are you ready? Okay. Yes. Vale, voy a compartir la conversación para que la puedan ver, si Please. están más comfortable. Aquí estamos. Ready. One, two, three, go. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss. Thanks a lot. Nice, good job, good job. Okay, any question? Or easy. Good. Let's see. Yo, teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, no tengo claro muy bien cómo se pronuncia avenida. Uh, no on the corner of first and wait a minute. Vamos a compartir de nuevo para que puedan ver. Avenue. <coughs> Avenue. Avenue. Tiene Avenue. que como enfatizar la primera. Avenue. Mm -hmm. yes. It's on the corner of Avenue. Main and First Avenue. Avenue. Como la A, enfatizar la A. First Avenue. Okay. Okay, let's see. Edith and Tatiana, are you ready? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> let's go. One, two, three. <clears throat> Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First 
Avenue. On the corner of Main and Pierce? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay. Well, it's a good practice. Ya practicamos varios. Si alguien más necesita practicar, raise your hand. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Anybody else? No? No more? Okay. Well, we're going to continue with the presentation because we have some more exercises. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see. Where is the restaurant? Mm -hmm. It's next to the bank. It's next to the bank. And vice versa, right? Si yo les pregunto, where is the bank? It's next to the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Next to a la par, a la par. Yeah? Tanto está el restaurant a la par del bank como el bank a la par del restaurant. Yes? So where is the restaurant? It's next to the bank. Where is the bank? It's next to the restaurant. All right. Where is the supermarket? It's across, it's across from the movie theater. The the movie. It's across from the movie theater. Across from lo vamos a utilizar siempre y cuando sea enfrente, pero al otro lado de la calle. ¿Ok? Siempre va a dividir como una calle entre ambos lugares. Por eso, si se fijan, acá está como en negro, ¿verdad? Entonces, igual, si yo les pregunto, where is the movie theater? It's across from no, the supermarket. The supermarket. Uh -huh. Entonces, esos dos va para ambos lados. Ok. Where's the school? It's, it's between, between the, the library, library and, the and the park. It's between the library and the park. La preposition between, eso sí, obviamente es en referencia a dos lugares más porque está en medio, right? So, aquí no podría decir the library is between the school and the park porque la library no está en medio de la escuela y el parque, ¿ya? Yeah? Pero sí podría decir the library is next to the school. Y es near, cerca del parque. Near from the park. O the park is near the library, next to the school. Or next to the school, near from the library. Eso sí podría ser. Pero ninguno de los otros dos lugares podría estar between. Yes? ¿Está esto claro? Yes. All right. Yes, it's Yes. Where is the post office? It's Vaya, en este caso, obviamente voy a tener que venir de este lado, ¿yes? Acá y luego para acá. Aquí vamos a dejar esta línea y luego hacemos otra para acá. Entonces. Decimos, it's around the corner, o sea, vengo de este lado y después al, al doblar en la esquina está el, oh, perdón. Yes, where's the post office, right? So it's around the corner from the hospital, sí. Vengo en este, sobre esta calle donde está el hospital y luego doblo y acá está el post office. Yes. Entonces, sí, around the corner, vengo de acá al doblar, después de doblar, uno dice al girar, ya ahí va a ver el lugar que va a usted, right? So, where's the post office? It's around the corner from the hospital. Yes? yes. Any yes. question? ¿Está claro hasta acá? Yes, sí, sure. Yes. Si, si viniéramos de post office... Este, ese sí se puede usar de la misma forma. ¿verdad? Exacto, este sí. Si usted pregunta, where is the hospital? Viniendo de acá, usted diría, it's around the corner from the post office. Uh -huh. uh, ok. Pero viniendo de acá. ¿Ya? ¿Ya, Yami? Eh, sí. Este, entonces, en este caso, porque around significa alrededor, ¿verdad? 
a la vuelta de la esquina, dice uno en Ajá, este entonces, en este caso, dándole sentido a, a la respuesta, sería al doblar la esquina. Uh -huh. No sería alrededor de la esquina. No, no, no es al darle la vuelta porque vuelvo a terminar en el mismo lugar. <risa> uno dice, ajá, al doblar, dice uno, a la vuelta de la esquina, dice, around the corner. Pero eso va a tener mucho el sentido de donde uno venga, ¿sí? Porque aquí hay una calle y acá hay otra. All right, bye. ¿Hasta aquí vamos bien? Are we good? Are we doing yes. good? Yes, teacher. Bye. No vayan a olvidar las prepositions. Next to, across from, between, around the corner from. Around the corner from. Si quieren, anótenlas. Tomen nota porque el siguiente ejercicio las van a utilizar. Next to, across from, between, and around the corner from. Yes? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Y usted, ¿y ahora qué hacemos? <laughs> Aquí ya no está la respuesta. Why? What happened? <laughs> uh -huh. Where is the bank? Nah, está fácil. It's across. It's next to the restaurant. It's next to the bank. Where's the bank? It's next to the school. It's next to the school. Next to the school. Easy. Where's the post office? It's across from the park. It's across from the park. Where's the restaurant? It's between the bank and the library. And it's between the, the bank and the library. That's right. Where's the hospital? It's around. It's across the movie theater. theater. Around, around the, the corner around from the movie, the movie theater. It's around the corner from the movie theater. Where's the hotel? It's across, it's across from, from the library. library. It's across the from library. the library. Where's the gas station? It's next to bus station. To it's next to the bus station. Exactly. But, lo mismo que hicimos, que acabamos de hacer, van a ser in pairs or in trios. Veamos, vamos a trabajar en los mismos breakout rooms y ahorita les comparto las images, ¿ok? No worries. No worries, no worries. Let's Muy bien, pregunto, pregunto yo si quiere. Pues ya casi no la veo. No la, ajá. Ahora sí. ¿Qué es eso? It's next to the school. school ok. ¿Qué um, es the post office? It's across from the park. Ok. Uh, where, where is the restaurant? It's between the library and bank. Si gustas, comienza preguntando y te daré la respuesta. Okay. Where is the bank? The bank is next to the school. Or um, where's the restaurant? The restaurant is between at the bank at the library. Yes. 
Ahora preguntas. Where is the hotel? The hotel is across from the library. Across. Across from the library. Across from. Uh -huh. And where is the post office? Um, este, ese sí me cuesta. Es igual al que te acabo de mencionar, solo le cambias el nombre. Across from, okay. The post office is across from the park. Yes. Que es como, en español sería como el equivalente de cruzándote la calle después del, del parque. Ah, ok. Eso sí. eh, ahora, the hospital is next to the movie theater. Sí, sí. This meeting is being recorded. ¿Cómo se pregunta? Ana, ¿verdad? Sí. What is the hotel? What is the hotel? Um, it is uh, the across, across. From, across oh. from the the hot the library. Where's the Where's the restaurant? Is between a bank and a library. In the library. Library is between a bank and library. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, for where the hospital? Uh, on the corner from around the corner, uh, the around the corner from movie stick. Mm -hmm. Around the corner, see, sí. okay. Uh, six, where's the hotel? Where is the hotel? Is is I'm from the hotel. The hotel in front no. library, sería. Perdón, sí, in sí. front the library. Okay. Six. Where's the gas station? Gas station. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Sí. Así es. Este, la otra compañera casi creo que no no. No participó mucho. Si gusta, le, pre le pregunto, compañera. Vaya, sí pregunta. Sí, de acuerdo. De acuerdo. la segunda lámina. ¿De sí. la segunda lámina o de la sí. primera? Eh, de la segunda también. Vale. Eh, ¿Where is the pie? Entonces. La primera es where is the bank next to the school. Sí, la tercera es Bitty Queen. Ajá, en eso, como está en medio. It's the bank, the bank and library. Sí, a los dos se tienen que pronunciarlo. Where is the la dos, where is the post office? Across from the park. Across from. La cuatro, where is the hospital? It's around the corner from the movie theater. Cinco. Uh, it's a girl from library. La seis, where's the gas station? We're next to the bus station. Where, where's 
the supermarket. It's across from the movie theater. Where's the school? It's between the library and the park. Where's the post office? It's around the corner from the hospital. Okay. Bien, creo que sí. Pasamos de nuevo a la, a la segunda. ¿Ah? It's next to the school. It's next to the school. Where's the post office? It's across from the park. It's across from the park. Where's the restaurant? It's between in the library and the bank. It's between in the library and bank. Where's the hospital? It's a room from, it's a room corner from the movie theater. It's a room the corner from movie theater. Where's the hotel? It's across from the library. Finish. Finish. Good. Yes. Good, good, good. Any question? No? It was easy. Okay. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> okay, we need to practice a little bit more. <laughs> okay, great, no problem. Okay, everybody return. Yes. All right. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. We practiced with this already. Now we gotta move. Oh my God. This is kind of messy. <laughs> Not the soccer player. Messy means a little bit disorganized, all right? So we have some boulevards here. We have some avenues, first avenue, second avenue, third avenue. And we have another street here. We have a lane here. The names are kind of difficult to pronounce, but don't worry much about it. Okay. We have a toy shop. We have a church. We have a school. We have a bank. We have a university. Hold on. I'm sorry. <clears throat> we have a bookstore. We have a beauty shop. We have a library, a city park, a courthouse, a police station. One second, please. <coughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just needed to cough, <laughs> I'm fine. So as I was saying, we got the courthouse, the police station, the city jail, imagine. So all the justice is here. The restaurant, the theater, the cafe, a drugstore, a doctor's office, a supermarket, fire station, pharmacy, city hospital, flower shop, bakery videos gas station coffee shop so we have all these places okay let's ask somebody <clears throat> let's see kenya miss kenya ayala where is okay. the flower shop Ajay, no la veo. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's right. It's in the it's in the second avenue, next to bakery and video. Exactly. It's on first, it's on second avenue. It's next to the bakeries and video. And also, you can say it's next to the coffee shop, right? Or across from the police station. Yes. Okay. Okay. Entre más especifiquemos dónde está el lugar, menos le va, le va a costar a la otra persona encontrarlo. Eso es como un tip, ¿verdad? A la hora de ubicar un, un, un establecimiento, un negocio en un mapa. ¿Ya? Of course, now, ustedes solo ponen Google Map y el Google Map los pierde. No sé si le ha pasado. Sí, me ha pasado. I was sí, going... sí, es cierto. I was going to the, in esta carretera del airport and, and I was going all the way to San Luis Talpa because of a, of a rancho, you know. Y después me dice que regresara yo, después de, de, de Olocuenta, yo, why? Why do I have to return? <laughs> okay, but we need to improve Google Map here in El Salvador, probably. Okay, let's see somebody else. Mi Cecilia. Where is the library? Mm, library is next to City Park. Is across park. from university. Across from the university, across from the school, right? Mm -hmm. That's um, right. Si podemos tomar de referencia cualquier de las calles, ¿ok? De la de costado o de frente. Generalmente, y está, perdón, it's on Mackerel um, Boulevard, okay. on the corner of Mackerel Boulevard and First Avenue. Ah, ok. Solo que eso como, como lleva como toda la cuadra, no necesariamente son the corner, but, pero a diferencia del flower shop or the coffee shop or the hospital. Eso sí sería on the corner of, y mencionamos las, las dos calles, o la calle ah, y la avenida, right? Okay, mm -hmm. thanks. Yes, no problem. Let's see. Miss, 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 Yami Rajo. That's your last name, right? Miss Yami Rajo, sounds interesting. Where's the university? It's next to the bank. And on First Avenue? On First Avenue. Ajá, aquí no podría next ser to next to the bank porque aquí hay una calle. Ah, entonces es uh, across to. Across from the bank, yes. Mm -hmm. It's on First Avenue, across from the bank, across from this city park. Eso sí podría ser, ¿ya? Yeah? Bye. Yeah. Igual, les voy yes. a enviar este mapa para que sigan practicando, solo déjenme... Quiero hacer algo acá, vamos a pausa. Solo para la de... Ok, so, we finish the class. I send you the image to practice and I see you. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.